Tonight, new efforts are underway to save the monarch butterfly. Many states, including Michigan, have increased ways to preserve butterfly habitats. Dr. Karen Oberhauser, a professor of entomology, explains how monarchs became endangered and how we can help preserve the species. What are some of the threats that are facing these monarch butterflies? Probably the most important threat over the long time period is habitat loss. Um, monarchs are, are losing habitat for breeding, for migrating through, for overwintering. And we know that habitat loss in the breeding grounds, so Michigan is very important here, has been an important driver, at least um, if we look long term. So um, a lot of that habitat loss is due to changing agricultural practices. There used to be milkweed growing in corn and soybean fields. And now monarchs can, or people, can spray these fields and kill the weeds because the plants are, the crop plants are genetically modified that they will not be hurt by the herbicide. So that has led to a lot of habitat loss, that this habitat used to be available to monarchs and it no longer is. But on the, but that, that habitat loss really ended in the early 2000s. So by 2005, 2006, all of that habitat was lost. Monarch numbers are continuing to decline, at least to, to some extent. And we think that the recent declines are more due to changing weather patterns. Okay. So we see a lot of variation from one year to the next in monarch numbers. And we can associate that variation with weather conditions. And um, the conditions that are not so good for monarchs are becoming more common with climate change. What can we do? I know researchers, scientists are doing a lot of things, but what, what can we do to help? Well, there are a lot of things that, that individual people can do to help monarchs. And the nice thing about monarchs is they can live in a very small space. It's not like a wolf that needs you know, hundreds of acres of, of pristine forests to live in. So uh, monarchs can, can come to somebody's backyard. So providing habitat even on a very small scale is important to them because they move around a lot and they will find habitat. So it can be in people's yards. Um, if they have large acreage, they can, they can provide a lot more habitat, but it can be at schools or places where people work, um, churches, there are lots of, of opportunities for creating habitat. People can support organizations that are working to preserve habitat or working to preserve insect. Why is it so important that people do this? Well, that that's an interesting question. I think that probably monarchs are a connector to the natural world. That's They're both an indicator of how things are going in the natural world. So if we make things right for monarchs, there will be a lot of other species that will come along for the rides. Hard to imagine a world without butterflies. So interesting talking to you today. Thank you so much. It's great information. I really appreciate it. Thank you.